Hello Sagittarian, how are we doing? Welcome to your monthly reading. It's going to be for October 2020 and today we're focusing on a connection you're dealing with. Could be love, family, friend. I'm trying to focus more on love but whatever shows up, shows up. And keep in mind this is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check your individual signs but if it does, feel free to give it a like, subscribe and comment. That really helps the channel to grow so I would greatly appreciate it. And the rules could also be reversed, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And we have wisdom and passion. I feel like the attraction between the two is kind of crazy. But you're scared of this being a stupid mistake that you're going to regret for all your life. Um, well, I just, I guess you just have to trust your intuition. Because... To be honest, I don't think it would be... Wow, we have passion twice, so that is crazy. Um, I don't think it would be a mistake. And it's not. True love. I feel like you're just scared of getting hurt, of past relationships repeating themselves. And I, I gotta be honest, I don't think this was going to happen. And I kind of feel like, in a way, yeah, the fool kind of wants to say hi. I feel like, in a way, you were trying to resist that um, gut feeling, your intuition. It's like, it's almost like you were denying yourself to listen to your intuition. It's like, no, no, my intuition is wrong. My intuition is wrong. And it's not. Okay. Let's see. Oop. Come on. Okay. Thank you. So for Sagicorn. We have the Hermit. Overall energy. Could be dealing with the Virgo. Um, and the Fool is also Aries energy. So, yeah. But you're so good in your cocoon. You're so good, you know, being at home, watching Netflix, eating pizza, not doing much. Not going out, you know, being with yourself. You're really cool with that. Get out. <laughs> okay, get out. Move your ass. Just, you know, just have a little bit of fun with this person. Because there is, I mean, you have passion twice, so that has to mean something. You also have true love. It is a risk, yes. You have to face your fears, yes. Is it worth it? Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. So, maybe, I don't know, maybe, try it, okay? So, in the past, we do have the Ten of Wands and the Star. I do feel like you have been through some heavy things. And in the past, you started to heal that. And now, you may actually be, yeah, at the edge of that ending of healing, and you don't really want to screw that up. You don't really want to get to that Ten of Wands again. And you're scared that this is going to feel the same, that this is going to be like this again. And I do feel like the last, like the final drop of that healing is actually facing your fears. It's actually being a little bit foolish. Because you like all this is already you have ten of wands and ten of swords. Tens are about endings. You've already done an amazing job with that. Now you just gotta move somewhere else. So you can officially end that chapter. Okay? Three of Cups for October. Just hang out. Okay? Just have a little bit of fun. This usually is the reconciliation card. I don't honestly uh, feel like that. For some of you, it could be. But I, I kind of feel like this is a new person. And it does feel good. Just like, just go out with your friends. If that is possible. But um, just have a little bit of fun. Just allow yourself to get out of the house. You may meet them at the supermarket. I don't know, but just get out of your house, okay? Let's see. On your side, yeah, High Priestess, what did I tell you? Eight of Wands, Tower. 
it's this is such this is so perfect because it's like your intuition is telling you go is telling you talk and you're like <laughs> no do it please do it because i feel like your intuition comes to, and it's not even you, only your intuition i feel like you keep uh, possibly seeing them in your instagram feed or you keep seeing them at the supermarket or something like that and you never talk to them just talk okay just a simple hey just a simple how you doing just talk they may even already uh, send you a text or they may throughout the month of October and I feel like your intuition is telling them is telling you talk respond answer and you're like seen it ignored okay so let's see your person side eight of swords <laughs> ace of pentacles nine of pentacles okay um i just got a mess uh, like the moment i saw the eight of swords i got like they are a nerd don't know what that is uh, i mean i know what a nerd is but i don't know why i got that message they may be um i just feel like they are very not insecure but very like close people i feel like they really like to be in that hermit mode too so again a lot of pentacles here it could definitely be a virgo um and i feel like they just like their space and they don't really like to just put it out there and just go for it right i feel like they're a very uh cautious person i feel like they only take a step if they plan to take it i don't feel like they're very impulsive so that is your sagittarius side job right <laughs> um I really feel like it's, oh, because they seem lovely. They seem really sweet, but really shy too. It's like when it comes to their career, they are the boss, especially having this nine of pentacles. They are really there and they do their job. They are successful at it. Um, for some of you, if you're questioning about it, they are single. Um... And I do feel like they may have a lot of work going on right now. I feel like they've just launched a product. It's not even about a business. It's a. Uh, it's not about creating a business or starting a business. No, I feel like it's more specific, like a product. And they have. They may be in like um, marketing or publicity. Uh, I just got that. So they have like it's it's the launching time, and they have they like a, they have a bunch of things to do. But they are really, really shy and they are really, really sweet. I really don't feel like they will hurt you. Okay? And I also feel like they have no idea that you are the slightest interested in them. They have no idea. Alright, but let's start clarifying. Let me see the Three of Cups for October. Oh yes, page of wands, knight of pentacles, seven of pentacles, the sun, bottom of the deck. That is so beautiful. I, f I do feel like you have been not in um, such a dark place like you were before with all the breakup and the pain from past relationships or anything like that. Um, but you're still in a very kind of lonely I don't know something like that you know where you just you didn't feel like going out this pain and this healing was still in sort of haunting you and so I, I feel like you never truly felt this happiness throughout the whole all the process right to be honest I kind of feel like you had the opportunity to feel it you possibly didn't see it because you were so focused on, okay, I need to get better, okay, I need to heal. That was amazing because you did some amazing progress here. You're really on the edge of something beautiful. That's the song. Uh, I don't think that's the name of the song, but it just came out. So that may mean something to you. I don't know. <clears throat> but 
with this page of wands, it's like you allow yourself to just be crazy. Just be crazy for a night. Don't do drugs, but be crazy for a night. Be flirty. Just a, just a little bit. Send a text. Get a little drunk and send the text. You don't need to get drunk to send a text, but if you need that, okay. Um, just go with it. And again, you don't have to uh, just go have a wedding next week with this person. You can just move things really, really slowly. Have slowly has a wish. But just be a little crazy. Go a little wild for a night. Okay? Let me see. Um, what do I want to clarify? Let me clarify your tower there. Four of Cups, Seven of Cups, Four Swords. Yeah, it's like your mind is always healing, 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 healing. And you don't even see all the options that you have around you. Specifically, this option, this cup over here. You're so focused on healing that you don't... It's like right now, new love and a relationship and love for you, it's off limits. It doesn't have to be. Because you could have this. Let me see the Eight of Swords here. Okay. Page of Cups, Five of Cups, Queen of Wands. They may have already tried something out with you, like text you or something. Um, and you probably said no. Doesn't surprise me. And they sort of like brushed it off right so they started focusing more on career and they never really looked again at it not that they didn't want it but we i mean they got rejected okay so let me forget about it it's never gonna happen right i don't think they totally forgot about you but you did reject them let me pull some messages and advice for you from the universe then we'll pull some messages from this person What do we have for Sagittarius? messages that I'm going to tell you that it came out is basically what I already said wake up now go crazy go crazy for a night <laughs> okay just just be a little crazy change is coming embrace it surrender give in a little bit just a little bit okay let me put some messages from your person Whoa. Okay, it's kind of crazy. Oh. All right. <laughs> yeah, I lost you. For for them, it's it's like you reject them. Okay, then it's lost. I want to kiss you. No one compares to you. Sunflowers are as beautiful as you are, especially your eyes. You melt me. Like, this is a really sweet person. And for them, it's like, okay, Sajikorin rejected me. It's gone. But they didn't stop thinking about you, though. Alright? So, Sajikorin, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. Hope it helped somehow. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.